5th of March 2017. Okay. Uh, coincidentally, this is the second case of Westy with this uh, skin disease. It's very itchy and, uh, and uh, it seems that there is no cure for it because many of us are given steroids and it doesn't work. Now, the thing is, the other one was a male, not, not new 10 years, so this is a female spade, right? Uh, and this female, the skin disease is not as bad as the other one, but the other one had the skin disease for six years, this one only two years and two years old. What happened is that the dog keeps on biting the paws, scratching the neck, mm. and scratching the face. And uh, you can see this dog actually is quite good. You can see here this lower part, not, not black like the other dog. The other was all black, and here all black, and the neck all black. So, the other dog, surprisingly, you can see the other dog, this part, the top part, was clear. The skin is good and pink in the top part. Come closer. But this dog, it seems to be itchy. So it has been scratching under the bed. How it got to be itchy here? The top part is itchy. Okay. So now, these are the, the scabs and the... There's a smell now. Yeah. There's a smell. Now the other dog, I'm surprised that it doesn't have this uh, ear infection. This one has a very bad ear infection. Now the other dog is on this drug. There's one drug which is so far quite effective against it. But it's an immunosuppressive drug. So the owner has given the dog the, the, the drug. And, uh, and uh, it, it seemed to have relieved the itch for the last two weeks before I saw the dog. And so, but it's an immunosuppressive drug. So, uh, so we, 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 of course, it's like using steroids in the sense that uh, it stops the itch and, and the, the hair grows back and there's no more scratching. Now, now Westies are famous for, the uh, Pesabri breed is famous for this skin disease, huh, whereby they are very itchy, very itchy in the body, especially a low part, the paws and the neck. Now this uh, disease is a breed specific to, to Westies. Now, what's the treatment? The treatment is is uh, difficult because some some cases they are due to yeast infections. Yeast infections. So once you resolve the yeast infections and uh, make sure that the Westie is stress free or not allergic to some food or environment or shampoo, it seems to have cured in some cases. But in other cases, it seems to recur, come back again. Okay, so, so you will see this one. I'll put, just take an ultraviolet light and see whether there is any fungus or ultraviolet. If there's fungus or yeast, we will stand this still first. Just uh, for a quick check for fungus, ultraviolet light. It's mainly for microscoring. Let me switch off first. And uh, let's see any, any ultraviolet. Any fluorescent or not? Let's see. No. So, okay, no. Now you can see the fluorescence. There's fluorescence. Well, can you see? The owner is texting. Okay. Now the owner has been applying some oil as well. No. This part is. Uh, this, the reason this dog is not so serious, I think, is because the owner came on with a shaving board and then giving spa treatment. So it's not so bad as far as the fish is concerned. You want to see? Come, see how it is. If, if there's ringworm, then the hairs will shine. Fluorescent right now. It will shine. Like greenish glow. Oh no, please don't shine. Why? You say have ringworm. Ringworm, ringworm, no. Ringworm. No, we are just testing the ringworm. Oh. It's ultra very big. You don't have right? Yes, I want to show you. Oh. Let's see. If you don't have that, you won't fluoresce. No? Fluorescent, let's see. Fluorescent, you see? Shiny, shiny, you see? No? Mm -hmm. no? These are ringworms up there. There's more ringworm here. No? See the whole hair? Normal hair don't have. So, one of the causes of this is a lot of ringworms. No? Of course, the video won't be able to show, but anyway, this is just a. One possibility is ring one, okay, the duty finish. The Westie has been 
clipboard, as you can see, there are ringworms. These are the old ringworms. They've been due to scratching circular spots here. And this is the new one. As you can see, the new ringworm is a uh, reddish in color. So the owner has been clipping board and then sending the dog to the spa. But uh, you can see that uh, it doesn't uh, solve the problem. Turn, turn around. Turn the other side now. And uh, the ears are also affected. You can see the ears. And uh, so, other than the breed specific disease of West T, sometimes the, the obvious causes are actually ringworm, fungus. Eh? And uh, because the owner gave up going to the vet due to the fact that the vet just gives some steroid and then the, the itch comes back again. So open the mouth, see? So that, that is why the disease was not cured. Now you can see the gums. This dog is not young, it's about 10 years old. You see the worn out tooth. And this side, you see this side. Yeah. Now you can see, open bigger, the open bigger like that. You can see the gingivitis and bad breath. Okay, so the neck, let's see the neck. Is there any scratching? Not much compared to the other dog. Eh? Now these this black spots, turn, turn upside down, turn the belly. These black spots are ringworm uh, due to quite a long time, so it becomes black due to scratching. Now, basically I believe this dog, if you can solve the ringworm problem, the yeast problem, and the inner sac problem, this dog has a good chance of uh, recovering. But uh, unlike the other Westie where the owner, owner didn't see the vet anymore for the six years, this one was two years only, so it's, it's a it's a it's a less less infected and then the, the skin is not not wrinkled up like the other dog. The other dog due to scratching it, it wrinkled up like like a uh, Sharpe. And, and see the paw first? The other paw. So here you can see it's only the paw affected. This one the elbow. Elbow is slightly affected only. And uh, the the ear is bad, no? The ear is bad. Pass inside so. So we need to irrigate the ears after the clipping board and then wash and then uh, give the medicine.